there's your your African Canadian person, and then there's your Mi'kmaq person, and then there's the outside forces saying, well, okay, you're still an other, you're still other, you're not whatever. So identity seems to have two sources for me. There is the source that you have been talking about, the identity that comes from inside, from who you are. Then there's the identity that is imposed on the outside. And there are the two versions of defining identity. And dominant cultures, colonizers, white supremacists, whatever, seem to prefer the exterior identity imposed on other people that creates othership, mm -hmm. that creates the other. Whereas sourcing, and I'm feeling my way forward here to open this discussion, whereas the interior source of identity never creates the other. It's only the exterior, those who use identity for power, positioning, fear, whatever. Am I sailing in weird waters here? No, no, I, I think that's a, a, a fair summation of, of the processes and the tensions that one faces. Um, so, which of course I've had to negotiate and my father had to negotiate and his father had to negotiate and so on and so forth. And my mother too and mother before her and, 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 and so on. Um, because along with the white supremacist orientation of 20th century Canada and into 21st century Canada, given the current government of Ontario, uh -huh. uh, for instance, for instance, <laughs> our arguments can be made about that. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And I haven't mentioned any names, so nobody has to go running for libel lawyers or anything like that. I haven't mentioned any names. So um, uh, I would just say that, that along with that white supremacist orientation, uh, there comes along with it a whole apparatus, cultural apparatus, of ideas and ideals that everybody's supposed to aspire to and support, such as uh, monarchy, such as the glories of the British Empire, and in some circumstances, the French Empire, uh, the uh, backward nature of the United States, uh, which is an ingrained uh, idea, especially in English Canada, because we are never allowed to forget that the Americans turned their back on their king. We're, even though it's been 200 plus decades, years since the revolution, Canada, English Canada especially, still bases its own existence and cultural existence on the idea that the Americans are dangerously violent and rebellious and untrustworthy because after all, they threw out the good King George III not because they went into Iraq on totally false pretenses. Right. Supported by the British, of course, <laughs> as well. <laughs> Tony Blair and all that. Uh, and, and, but that's because of the, the Anglo-American alliance, the so-called special right. relationship. Special relationship. Yeah. Which basically is about um, uh, America taking up where Britain left off. In terms of when Britain lost its supremacy, global supremacy, uh, the deal was cut with America that take over as the reigning Anglo power. And language is important here. Religion is important here. Uh, there's a lot of where that uh, the U.S. and Britain share, along with Canada and Australia and New Zealand and, and, so, and South Africa, for that matter, as the former, uh, 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 um, and in South Africa's case, former white-dominated uh, sister dominions. Uh, and uh, uh, so these entities uh, still remain a group that is quite conscious of their connectivity. Uh, and we see that in terms of their, the group hostility towards China and the possibility that Chinese advances in technology and, and economic power. Or also the five eyes. Exactly, five eyes. Where does that come from? It comes from this old, this very old idea, which started to be floated by Britain at the end of the 19th century, as they could see that their, the major competitor for global power was America. And Britain could see that very easily. So that's when they began to float this idea of a global Anglo-American alliance uh, uh, based on shared history, language, religion, and so on. Uh, that they, so they could still manage the world for their collective interests. 